Hello, I'm Peyton Alexander, president of A-Plus Inc. We've been manufacturing plaster mantles since 1988. We now offer all our mantles in three finishes. Plaster, as in the Atlanta here, plus sandstone and plus tumbled. Today, we'll be replacing the Atlanta, which has been in service for 18 years, doing a great job, with tumbled. We'll be using the Santa Fe plus tumbled to replace the Atlanta. I'd now like to introduce Lee Riggenhagen, who is our fireplace manager, to give details. Hi, I'm Lee Riggenhagen, fireplace manager for A-Plus Incorporated. Today we're going to be removing the tile surround and removing the Atlanta mantle. We're going to be replacing it with a Jerusalem gold surround and a six-piece Santa Fe plus tumbled mantle. Uh, initially, we will be starting out by removing the pictures, removing the decorations. We'll be putting plastic down to protect the carpet. We'll be scoring the outer edge of the mantle to protect the wall. And then we're going to get to it. So let's get started. Hello, welcome back. Obviously, we were successful at removing the mantle and the surround. Uh, our next step is to install the new hearth and surround and mantle. Uh, when we pulled up the old hearth, we found some damage over on this corner, so we'd filled in some, with some leveler. Uh, we've got a fireplace valve over here, which we're going to be drilling a hole in. So our next step is to put down a piece of micor, which will prevent any heat from penetrating to the hearth and causing damage to the subfloor. And then we'll be putting down the new hearth, and then we'll be going up with the mantle. So uh, let's get started. A couple of things before we proceed. We have a safety strip. On every wood burning fireplace, we should have a safety strip that's going to prevent any burning embers from falling down in between the hearth and the fireplace and smoldering on your subfloor. So it is very important before you put down a hearth, make sure that you have a safety strip. Um, also, there's a gas starter valve here. You're going to want to measure from the fireplace and from the edge of where your hearth is so that you can cut, drill a hole in your hearth in order to uh, access that valve. Also, we have a Super Hearth 48. The manufacturer specifies uh, an oversized hearth. You need to check with your manufacturer for your fireplace and make sure that the hearth that you install meets code. Set the plinth level and plumb. Drill a pilot hole to secure the plinth to the startup behind the wall. The screw head will be covered when the leg is installed. Actually, I'm marking it just a little here under 41 and a half. We're marked at 41 and a half. 
Okay, now we're going to put a board on top of here, but let it hang up by about uh, half an inch. Okay, continuing with our mantle installation, we've already hung our hanger boards. Uh, the way we utilize that is on behind these legs are two clips. Each clip is going to hold each one of the legs. So we measure from the bottom of the leg to where the clips are, and then we measure from the plinth up to where the clips are going to be. We mark that on the wall. We put three quarter inch board, one by four, and uh, mark it level, screw it to the wall on both sides, and then we take another one by four board, screw it on top, leaving it with only half an inch, half an inch of an overlay so that this clip falls down in the lip that's created between the two one by fours. The header is measured to fit in between the two legs. Use 100% silicone to secure the header to the facing of the fireplace. Normally, the surround legs are going to hold the header in place. You may have to cut temporary boards to accomplish this. Allow 24 hours for the silicone to dry. Okay. Holding the breastplate in position, drill pilot holes for the mounting screws. You'll want to countersink these screws and cover the heads with plaster. Apply a liberal amount of silicone caulk on the inside of the breastplate where it meets the header portion of the leg. Temporarily secure the breastplate with a 2x4 board and allow the silicone 24 hours to dry. Apply a liberal amount of silicone to the tops of the legs. Seat the shelf, ensuring that it is level and plump. Use shims where necessary to, to secure the position. Plaster can be used to fill any gaps and allow 24 hours to dry. Thanks for viewing our video. For a complete photo guide of all our products along with dimensions, a photo installation guide, please visit us at www.aplusinc.net or phone at 404-373-7587. Thanks.